good evening everybody i am a little bit late we've had to change our routine slightly so um james now has his tutor on a tuesday after school and she's just left so now i'm gonna cook the tea hello everybody so if you're coming and tuning in come and say hey let me know how you are doing if you hit the share button, don't forget to comment shared so I can pop you in the next prize draw. And if you're a newbie, come and say, hey, I'm a newbie, so that you'll be um, making friends with everybody already on here. Share this video with friends. It's already shared, isn't it? I don't understand what that means. Anyway, just gonna get rid of it for now. Right, we're gonna do the prize draw. So our last winner was Yvonne Manti. Your prize is in the post. And on Saturday night takeaway, we made onion and sweet potato barges, which Andrew said were amazing and way better than the takeaway. And we did Kima Sag, which is one of my favourites. And we had a staggering 314 shares, which means we have three prizes in the pot. We haven't quite hit 30k, but if you haven't done already, you can hit the share button, then comment shared so I can find you. Go to the page and um, click the follow button and see first. That would be amazing. And then you're always going to know where I'm going to be on a Tuesday and Saturday on this page. Right. Prize draw. Three prizes. Here we go. It's not 39. Here we go. Oh, number one. I don't think I've ever had a number one. Never. How cool is that? Number one. 109, 109, and 274. That's why it's really important that you comment shared so I can find you, because it doesn't always show up when I just click on the share button. Hey, thanks for the shares, everybody. Right, this is super quick and easy. So I, I like quick and easy. Um, quick, easy tea when you're in a hurry. I'm going to turn it round so you can see everything. If I miss the comments, I'll do my best to go back through them. But if you need anything, um, best way to get hold of me is to message me at the get started. Right, here we go. Fry lights. Oh my God, my oven has been cleaned. It's like sparkling and brand new. Not gonna lie, like I wipe the hob and stuff, and maybe if a bit spills in the oven, but I don't ever clean it, and it hasn't been cleaned in like eight years. <laughs> Did that actually come out loud? Yes, I said that. I haven't cleaned my oven in eight years. I do have a liner and stuff in there, but actually physically scrubbing it. Hell no. Right, I've got better things to do. Let's get this on. So fry like your pan, don't use your cooking oil. There's way too many sins. Actually, do you know what? It's lit a lot better as well. I've not wanted to use it because I didn't want to clean it. Thanks for the share, guys. Do you know what? I need a glass of water. I'm really thirsty. Got a dry throat. The kids are all full of cold and I think I've caught it. The joys of being back at school. Right. Quick, easy tea. Diced onions. I'm using frozen. Quick, ready to go. There we go. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to chuck the whole lot in. I'm going to massively bolt this up and then I've got my lunch tomorrow. Boom. Job done. Bacon medallions. I'm using the smoked bacon and I buy the medallions because they don't have the fatty tails on them. You gained half a pound. I stayed the same this week. So I'm really chuffed with that. I need to knuckle down. I want a real good week this week. Come on. We can do it. Lying in the sand. Half a pound's nothing like you need to toilet and lose that. <laughs> All is good. All is good. Right, remember to cut off any visible fat. And then we're just going to chop this up into little bits. Let me get a wooden spoon. So we can keep stirring this. Let me turn it down a minute while I'm just chopping the fat off. So we're going to work our way through all the medallions, just cut off, if there is any fat, just cut it off and then this is free. So I'm using smoked bacon, you could use the plain if you want, I've just dropped that little bit of fat in there, <laughs> get that out. Get that out, we're going to have a good week everybody. I'm going to do a massive like a batch cooking recipe thing, I think I'm going to do it next Tuesday, I'm just going to get super organised and then I'm going to do it in the morning because we spoke about this at my slimming world class today and i was like come on donna let's get super organized 
and bounce some good ideas around. So if anybody's got any good slow cooker recipes, do me a favour, message them over to me because they're going to be like good slow cooker recipes to keep us all on track. Right, I'm just chopping off these little, there's only a tiny bit of fat on here, but don't leave it on, keep it, keep it free. Hey, Sarah's new. Hi, Sarah. If I've missed anybody else, I do apologise. I can't read the comments when I'm chopping. I might lose my fingers. I don't want that. Not on Facebook Live, anyway. Thanks for the shares. If you are new, if you hit the share button, then you'll be in the next prize draw. All you have to do is comment shared so I can find you, because sometimes it doesn't always show. And if you haven't already done so, go to the top of the page and click follow, and then you're not going to miss anything. I'm live pretty much every day, but I cook on a Tuesday and a Saturday, as long as we're here and I don't know, I'm not ill or whatever. Right, that's the bacon chop. Mm. Right, garlic, we're going to wax them in as well. I'm using frozen. Frozen veg is just a lifesaver. If you're a busy mum or busy anyone, frozen vegetables are a lifesaver. So that's frozen garlic. I'll post the recipe on the page later and I have started uploading again to the YouTube channel. So I'll post all those links later when I post the pictures of the food. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you follow following. Right, next up, butternut squash, also frozen. So it says in the recipe about 600 grams of squash and sweet potato. Um, the bags are like five, 600, so I'm just gonna whack in like half the bag, just over half the bag. That was the butternut squash. Next is the sweet potato. I love sweet potato and squash. Same again, about half the bag. It's like a one pot wonder this, you're gonna love it. Quick and easy. Let me put that back in the freezer. Give that a stir. So we're just gonna fry this for a minute. There we go. So in there we have onions, bacon, sweet potato, butternut squash and garlic. And we're just going to fry it for a minute or two whilst we make our stock. So we want 300 mils of vegetable stock and I'm going to use um, two vegetable OXO cubes to do it. Just to add a bit of bit of good flavour. Let me move over here so I can read some of these comments. Hey, thanks for the share, Julie. I've missed that, something about spice and thai, so I've missed it. I'll post all the links later so you can get them. But if you go to the page, the about section, um, you can get all the links there as well. Or you can message me. Yeah, that's 300. There we go. So 300 mils of veg stock. Let's let that dissolve. Give this another stir. So this takes about half an hour to make. So Andrew should be home about quarter to six, he said tonight. So it should be done just in time for daddy getting home so everybody in our house will eat this except for james because <laughs> he is just the name nightmare but there we go i'm not losing any sleep over that he'll eat in the end hello what butter oh does that mean what's butternut squash like oh my god it's gorgeous if you've not ever had it i love a butternut squash i like cutting it in half and just roasting it in the oven it's amazing do i run a slimming world group no i attend a slimming world group they keep trying to get me to do it but no i, <laughs> I haven't got enough hours in the day to do everything that i'm doing if you saw my messages you'd die <laughs> 
Hey Hillary, Hillary's new. No, I attend the Slimming World group. I wanna walk away from that stress free. <laughs> I do this because I enjoy it. Hey babe. Andrew's home early, he's wondering why his tea's not on the table long. Right, that's fried off. What's he done? Oh, he's cut his head. Are you going to show them all? No, he doesn't want to see it. He's butchered his head. He's caught it on scaffolding, look. It's a hazard of being tall. Can see it in oh, there. they can't see it, look. No. No. We can't see. No. Get your head out. It hurts. It hurts. He's cracked his head. That's the problem when you're really tall, peeps. <laughs> you hit your head on loads of stuff, right. Now that's fried off, we're going to put one tin of chopped tomatoes in. One teaspoon of rosemary. Yeah, let's get good old rosemary in there. That wasn't quite a teaspoon, that'll do. Parsley. These are all in the jar. Oh, did you see it? They're saying, ouch. <laughs> did I not sound very sympathetic? He's always bashing his head. It's because he's so tall. I don't have that problem. I'm a midget. Right, there we go. Herbs in there. Four tablespoons of, oh yeah, they could see it. They've said, ouch, it looks sore, babe. There it is. One, two, three. Oh, do you know what? I may as well just finish that off. Oh no, Holly will want to make a pizza pocket with that. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. I was going to squirt it all in. We'll leave it. Give that a stir. Then we are going to add our vegetable stock. That's going to simmer for about eight to ten minutes. And then, let me add this in. So all of this in the pan is going to simmer for about eight to ten minutes. So you can go and set your table. Get your kids' homework done. Do the spellings. Put the washing on. You can do all that in eight minutes. <laughs> so we're gonna leave that to simmer for eight to 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna whack in a whole bag of green beans. I'm just gonna chop them in half. And then I'm gonna leave it for another eight minutes. And that's it, ready to dish up. You can put it in big bowls if you want. Um, you can serve it on its own. You could serve it with salad you could serve it I'm, but you know what i'm gonna have some collie rice more speed get all the speed in you can what would the safety elf say was that i'm about hanging him over the um, oven <laughs> showing you his cut head he's about to burn himself oh dear let's not worry pete right that's it it's cooked how quick and easy was that i will post the recipe on the page later with the um with the finished dinner, so you can see it, but it's a super quick, easy dinner. Leave it bubbling away. I do chop these in half just because it makes them a little bit um, easier. Job done. What was that stuff of room up your back? It's like, yes, if you do that, you can sweep as you go as well. Like, you can do a lot in eight minutes. Everyone always says to me, how on earth <laughs> do you get everything done in a day? Because everything I do, I multitask. I don't like to do one thing at a time. It's a bit like having a shower. You may as well clean it while you're in it, haven't you? Um, so yeah, dinner is done, really. Just add your green beans in when you've got like eight minutes to go. Job done. Thank you for tuning in. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? How long have we been there? About 10 minutes. Um, if you hit the share button, don't forget to comment shared. If you've not already done so, go to the um, top of the page, click follow, see first, and then you'll get my recipe later when I post it. Okay, gonna love you and leave you and see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bacon, sweet potato and butternut squash stew. Stir in your green beans. Give it another eight minutes and serve. Look at that.